Chris and Peggy Hewson first introduced themselves to me at a Japan House Bazaar. Peggy was interested in learning how to properly dress in kimono and tie an obi. I remember taking them behind the kimonos on display and showing her how to do this and also how to properly fold a kimono. They were such a lovely couple and one could immediately see that they had a heartfelt connection with Japan beyond their travels there. After other encounters at Japan House, Chris and Peggy stated that they would like to give a gift to Japan House in memory of Chris's daughter, Sarah Hewson, who had passed away in 2016 at the young age of 33. Sarah was a beautiful young woman who had a deep fascination with Japanese culture. She relished the magical worlds that were created by manga artist Rumiko Takahashi. Takahashi began publishing in the late 70s and received early recognition. It was in the 80s when Takahashi prolifically shared even more stories, and in 1987, she produced a serialized manga entitled Ranma One Half, which focuses on a male character who is forced to transform into a female when splashed with cold water. The series ran from 1987 until 1996 and was made into an anime series that was also released in North America. Enchanted by the works of Takahashi, Sarah delved into learning Japanese and also traveled to Japan as a tourist her first summer and then as a student at Ritsumeikan University in Kyoto. During that summer, her homestay family took her on a trip to hike Mount Fuji, one of the most famous mountain peaks in the world. Fujisan is a symbol of faith and admiration for many Japanese. It is often stated that when looking at Fujisan, your heart is filled with the supreme bliss. Though it took a full day and a trip to the hospital to treat her sunburns, climbing Fujisan was still a highlight in Sarah's travels. After returning home, Sarah realized that she had even carried back some of Fujisan with her as she shook out her sneakers to create a wondrous pile of volcanic ash from the great mountain. Sarah dreamt of someday working in Japan and to honor Sarah's memory and her love for Japanese culture, Chris and Peggy generously decided to support Japan House's annual fund and allocated their gift to create a beautiful and quiet space within the Japan House Gardens for contemplation, a place that they believed Sarah would embrace. The grounds between the Azumaya and the Professor Emeritus Kamiko Gunji Honorary Bridge had yet to be developed. Here were two beautiful structures that were constructed to honor the vision and legacy of both former directors, and yet there was no connection between them. The initial gift from the Hewsons inspired us to develop the landscaping around the two structures, creating a connectional path and develop the area to be a place of respite and quietude. It is absolutely undeniable that this area of the Arboretum and Japan House is an incredibly poignant part of our lands. The outpouring of kindness and the interest of our friends Chris and Peggy Hewson, John Fraunhofer, the students, friends, and family of Gunji Sensei, and Nick Offerman to remember significant people in their lives and to do it in a manner that everyone can discover, appreciate, and relish. This beautiful area honors those people and shares with all a place of peace surrounded by the lushness of nature. A commemorative bridge was built in honor of Professor Kamiko Gunji upon her retirement. Gifts from students, friends, and family helped to create this structure as a symbol of her tireless efforts as an educator and as previous director of Japan House in sharing Japanese arts and culture. It is through her tenacity and sincere will that the current Japan House was built in 1998. Gunji Sensei's dream was to connect her heritage with the hearts of all who entered Japan House, just as this bridge unites two pieces of land. Gunji Sensei has spent her career uniting people and cultures. This bridge is a symbol of connecting East with West and our unending gratitude for her dedication. Teacher and student walk the same passage is a statement that lives in the beautiful arbor designed and constructed by Nick Offerman, University of Illinois alumnus of Theater and Japan House. Nick wanted to use his woodworking skills to construct something in honor of the mentorship and teaching that his sensei, Professor Shozo Sato, had provided him during his years at the university. Nick decided to build an azumaya, a thatched structure without walls that allowed for people to sit and enjoy the gardens. The azumaya was built in California 
and then deconstructed and shipped to Urbana, where it was reconstructed by Nick, members of the woodshop in California, and many friends and volunteers. It now sits across the pond, looking upon Japan House, and provides a resting spot for students, community members, and beyond to enjoy the natural beauty that surrounds. During this time, another supporter of Japan House and longtime friend of the Gunji family offered yet another significant gift to support Japan House. John Fraunhofer earned his bachelor's and master's in civil engineering and participated in the marching Illini while he was a student at the University of Illinois. Taken under the wing of Eldon Owen, a very close family friend to the Gunjis and assistant to the director of university bands in 1969, John was indoctrinated into a group of friends that Ken Gunji was also a part of, and from that time on, John was a regular fixture at the group gatherings and became a part of the extended Gunji family. John established the Fraunhofer & Associates in Champaign, a local engineering service business. In 2007, John generously established the John A. Fraunhofer Japan House Advancement Fund, which was set to support teaching, engagement, and other educational activities at Japan House. When the bridge was in the process of being constructed in honor of Kimiko Gunji, John offered his company's services to prepare the design and construction documents. Finally, in 2017, John again offered a significant gift to Japan House to address any current projects that may need support. His timing was impeccable. John's gift perfectly aligned with that of the Houston's. We determined that his gift would fund the beautiful winding pathway that connects the two structures. This path is etched with a wave pattern, which was designed and executed by none other than our very own Professor Shozo Sato.